Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve the invalid MS-DOS function error you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. That there is an interrupted action and you might be coming across this error message that there is an invalid MS-DOS function. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, best match, come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'm recommending naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that is done, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for policies. So go down to policies and double click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder, double click on it. And it should be a Windows folder in here. Double click on that one as well. And then finally, there should be a system folder. Just left click on that system folder one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different sub key that we've went under to get to this point. So again, once we are underneath the system folder, or I should say once you've selected that folder, you want to direct our attention over to the right side here. So right click in a blank area, select new, and then you want to select D word 32 bit value. I'm going to have a value in the description of the video. I want you guys to just copy and paste it in. It's copy file buffered sync R-O-N-O-U-S-I-O, -O, not L as in Lima. It's an I as in Ivan. I'm going to have that in the description of the video again, so it'll say it down here. Just copy and paste it directly into the registry editor as you see it. And again, you just can right-click and paste in there, So just like you were doing normal text. So again... Copy file buffered sync H R O N O U S I O case sensitive in here, capital I, lowercase O at the end. Just click out of there to save it. Double click on that value once you've created it. And you want to ensure that this value data is set to the numerical value of one. So delete the zero, type the number one, base should be hexadecimal, select OK. And then once you have done that, you should be able to just close out of the Reddish editor, and you will need to restart your computer in order for the changes to take effect. So let's just go ahead and restart our device at this time. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.